LTT is a Canadian YouTube brand known for making tech videos and computer builds, so they decided to do what every other YouTuber would do. Take three years to develop a screwdriver instead of slapping their logo on one. So did it turn out to be a useful build tool or a glorified fidget spinner? For most people, buying a screwdriver like this comes down to supporting their favorite creator. But after using this to tear apart and rebuild my computer, some keyboards and even Joy-Cons, I've come to find some issues with its design, which I'll get to later. The build itself is very solid in the hand, which allows me to grip the screwdriver similarly to a knife hold for a comfortable grip. When gripping the driver to apply a high amount of torque, the satin finish makes the LTT screwdriver a bit more slippery than I would like. In terms of PC building, this can be seen as a feature, as this makes it less likely for someone to over tighten the screw. You can go over 100 inch pounds, but that either requires technique or or strength to pull it off. 100. Oh, whoa, whoa, he did it! He did it! He hit 130! <laughs> Inside the handle is the bit storage for up to 12 driver bits. Do note that the LTT driver bits are shorter versions of regular bits. If you do want to use an older or third party bit, you can store them in the bit storage compartment. However, it will take up two slots. The force required to open the storage is strong, ensuring it doesn't open randomly. But I would normally need to bring my other hand to replace the bit anyway. So this isn't much of an issue. I did find that if I flung the screwdriver a certain way, the bit storage would fly open. While possible to do consistently, I found that a driver bit could fly out every now and then, so I wouldn't recommend it. And when closed, it will leave a gap from the main body. Simply pushing the head back into the shaft will bring it back into its original position. Going onto the shank of the screwdriver, it has a knurled section to provide grip when using the shaft to drive screws. This actually helps when trying to speedily remove or insert screws as I can easily turn both the handle and the shaft in relay. The driver storage helps in this action freely pivoting in my palm. The driver tip has a strong magnet that helps allow the driver bits to hold onto screws, which led to issues I'll mention in a bit. The ratchet mechanism has some given locked and when ratcheting, the noise is crisper than those New Year noisemaker toys, making the LTT screwdriver a high quality noisy fidget spinner. The ratcheting mechanism is very useful when in tight spaces and very comfortable in one-handed use, like when I needed to hold something up like a fan or an entire radiator. LTT says the back force of the ratchet has been reduced to help stop driving screws in reverse. Unfortunately, while the back force is low, it did on occasion push a screw back, where I had to use a screwdriver manually. It's not often enough to be annoying or anything, but it is often enough to be noticeable. When the ratchet did work, it is more than fine enough to be able to make a turn in tight spaces of my computer. I mentioned earlier I had an issue when using the LTT screwdriver due to the strong magnetism of the driver tip, which both works for and against the screwdriver. When I was trying to slot the screwdriver bit into the screw using a single hand, the magnet would more often than not pull the bit to the closest wall of a screw, making me try to slot the screwdriver repeatedly. So if the already threaded screw you're trying to reach doesn't allow you to steadily guide the driver, it can be bothersome. However, the strong magnetism does very well in holding the screw, easily allowing you to carry said screw to a hard to reach position. And it's strong enough that it won't leave the bit stuck in the screw itself. Not the first time I left things in a tight space screwing around. Tools like the screwdriver are normally a one-time purchase and come about when an occasion pops up. A custom PC build doesn't come with a screwdriver in the case, and you might find out that you need one only after opening a few parts. So you'll have to order it in advance since there's no physical store. I bought the screwdriver from the pop-up shop, which let me make this review before the first order ship out by October 2022 and later. As for now, it comes in waves. The LTT screwdriver comes in two color waves, one with the orange accents which I have and the other a completely black shaft that can get me demonetized on YouTube and do subscribe and like the video, but should you get the LTT screwdriver as a proper tool? If you're looking for a screwdriver that you buy once and forget in the cupboard, the LTT screwdriver can be too expensive for that. But if you use a screwdriver at least once a month or so, it makes a great addition to anyone's tool collection and potentially lasts a lifetime. And if you're looking for other high-end gear that lasts a lifetime, check out this video. If you're headed back to LTT, have a nice one.